So yeah, the trigger doesn't actually feel that bad. And even though it's like a fairly light trigger, the pot, uh, the pull is very nice. It doesn't feel cheap, doesn't feel spongy. It feels like a very nice crisp trigger pull. Sorry about that, uh, the camera just cut off, I don't know why. So yeah, very cool gun, um, it's got a nice weight to it. It's not very rattly, if I take the magazine out, the only rattle is the slide, if I hold it, then it's all a very solid gun. Um, I wouldn't really want to spray this anyway, just because it's based on a real Target 22 pistol. So the blue, I don't really mind it. it the, the gun is mostly black, the, that blue isn't really necessary necessarily bad and it has all the trademarks there is no slide lock they could have done that i mean it's a very simple gun um but the, the gun was very cheap and i think it doesn't really matter i paid 30 quid altogether for all of these guns apart from the clock that wasn't included in the price so we have a gun from nostalgic reasons and a gun that's very interesting so we'll go to the nostalgic one. They've changed the box on this. This was the HA117 pistol, if you guys remember the HFC pistol. They've now called it the ZM series. Um, they changed their um, guns basically to be uh, on a different line. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, the, the, the art is very cool. And I think there's, there is English on the back, but it's the typical Tringlish. Um, you can see there's like um, pull the cocking handle until a click sound is heart, stuff like that. There's nice. It's a nice silver on there. There it does stand out better. The packaging does stand out nicer if this was on a shelf. The packaging was more like this years ago. So I open it up. Oh yeah, and it's all blue, just like the one I remember, and it's still got the the seal on it. Um, so yeah, this bring, this takes me back to when I was on holiday as a kid. I had pocket money and I saved up enough and I bought a couple of BB guns. Um, and this has been one of them. It's based on a Glock 18, but it's a Glock 17. So obviously it's a single shot BB gun. Um, but the the grip texture is just like the, you know, in the part one video I showed. If you watch part one, I showed another Glock. Um, it has that similar texture. Not the same, but very similar. Um, but the selector switch doesn't actually work. Um, I believe the uh, the actual uh, takedown levers actually work as well to take the slide off. And the bar I remember the barrel is actually a replica of the real Glock barrel. They've like re in like done the internals very similarly. Um, it's only the guide rod that isn't the same. This has a slide lock too, by the way. And the BBs actually look good that come with this. Um, so that's in the packaging still. So um, I can always open that in a sec. But I want to show you this one, the C19. This one's really cool. Um, so it looks like one of the cheap guns again, has the basic instructions on the back. Um, I don't know, this one's made by... Uh, it's, the ones, it's the one that makes all... I think it's Galaxy. Galaxy, because they make the C series guns. You guys will probably know. But anyway, inside here, blue slide. <laughs> I think that's the, there's a, is that a cover? Yeah, that's a cover. Right, so you're, you guys are going to be blown away. There's no instructions in here. Some BBs, they, they're okay. <coughs> Stars. C19. Doesn't have any of the other trademarks on it. But it has the slide, and it has, it's basically, and it, obviously it has an M9 style rail, um, but fucking hell, it has, it's basically the M92FS um, in a smaller compact version, with the stars symbol on it, and with a silver barrel. Unfortunately, I, I can't spray it, because that way the stars wouldn't be on there anymore, but it's a miniature Beretta, and it even has Beretta on the grip, so I don't know how they got away with that. Um, so that, that rattly noise, there's like a, this is like a metal cover, but the barrel is, is metal too, so they, they didn't necessarily need to do that, um, I think that was just to make it a solid piece, but this could have been, yeah, it's very cheap, this could have been an open slide system, 
the internals in this don't feel very good, and that's because they've used metal with plastic. That's why the way they've done the Woodsman is probably better. Um, so the takedown lever doesn't work, the, the, uh, the slide lock doesn't work, the safety lever doesn't work, and the hammer is it doesn't work either, so it's just a simple spring-powered gun. Um, but the reason I got it was for the STARS logos on it, and I believe, I don't know if this one is threaded, but it, there's, a, there's a version that comes with a silencer. Now, I, I could try it with this one here, because this is an airsoft silencer, I just took it off my actual summer air. No, so I'm guessing it's a push fit silencer. So I'm probably when I when I got a bit more cash, I'm going to get the silence version as well, just because I then I'd have both versions. Um, uh, because I have my own version of the Samurai Edge, basically for me, because I'm a because I'm a hardcore fan of Resident Evil. I basically made my own version. Um, but yeah, so I want my own versions like this. I like the M90 M9 style um, rail. It's got an M92FS bump so it's like an M92FS crossed with an M9 rail so it's, that's very interesting it's it's very much like Albert Wesker's model in that sense um, the magazine is very cute it's got a metal weight in it. it doesn't rattle so it feels dense feels actually nice quality it has some fake witness holes on it um, it's got a nice base plate on the bottom like the original Beretta magazine and the spring isn't too heavy and you can lock it down at the bottom it looks like it can hold about 12 to 15 BBs I reckon Again, I'm only going to load a few, just, just for the ease of time. Um, there is no pour, pour fill, so like pour it in, but you just drop them in, and they load in like that. Hit your release. Very good as a starting gun, like if you're if your kid that's like 10, likes Fortnite, wants a BB gun, this is probably a good one. Um, very easy to push in, with that button here to, to release it. Locks in once you, once you press it, it kind of goes floppy when you release it. That's just the way the release works. Once it's in there, it actually fits in quite well. A little bit of wobble, not too bad. I've already cocked it, so it should be easy to cock, but you'll just hear it load a BB. There you go. Sounds quite cool, sounds quite realistic. Um, the sights, um, obviously this is loaded, so I'm going to point this away from me, but the sights are a miniature version of the M92FS sights. The trigger is a little bit spongy. It kind of You kind of pull it a little bit before it breaks. But that's um, kind of uh, expected with uh, like the smaller guns like this with the plastic frame. Um, but it's it's very similar to almost like a real Beretta in that sense. You have a bit of take up and then it pops. Quite a powerful gun. Um, I think it's a bit more powerful than the Woodsman one that I got. Um, that's probably why it was so hard to cock. Probably because it's just new. Um, might need to lubricate it a bit, and I've also noticed the uh, this slide could do a tightening up. So there's always little things you can do to help that. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to do that in the video. I've just got the set ready. I'm just going to tighten these up, probably lubricate it and stuff as well. But yeah, um, really interesting gun. I think it's worth it for. A, I think this was like seven, eight pound. Really good quality for what you um, would basically pay for like a, for a one in a shop. You'd probably pay like fifteen pound for this in a shop. It's got a bit of weight to it for the size, um, and it's got a rail on it too, so you can put a scope on it if you want. Not scope, um, a scope, like a, a flashlight or a, a, a red dot. Um, for instance, I've got one here, I'll just quickly do, I'll just see if it'll fit on. So I think it's because it's miniature, it's struggling to fit on, but if I push it, will it go on? Yeah, it's on now, there you go. And that makes it feel a lot nicer. Um, obviously, this one doesn't. This one doesn't function. But with that on, it looks a lot nicer, um, and it feels a lot nicer too. So yeah, very improved, very nice improvement. And also, this has this has a rail too, so you could even put it on this. Um, but yeah, so just quickly show this one. It doesn't smell the same as it did. It has like a different smell to it. They always have like a different plastic -y smell, but this one doesn't. So it feels the same as it did as well. Yep. Just a quick over overlook of it while I'm looking at it. So. There's some changes they've done for sure. So um, there's this 
little base plate well thing, that was there, but this was more sturdy before. This actually stayed in one particular spot. Um, now this is because um, you can put the, the Glock stock on this and they they kind of wanted to stop you from doing that um, because the because this is modelled on like an actual Glock 18 you can put the Glock stock on this now I'm going to do another video showing that because in this I can't I'd have to get it out and it's just hassle but um, one thing I've seen is the plastic is a, is a sturdier plastic than what it was it, it's a lot better um, and it's a sturd it's a heavier to cock back and once it's cocked the return spring is quite tough too sounds very plasticky but it has the same feel as a glock with, with that. even when you cocked it it still feels tough to pull back that was kind of the thing i liked about it these spring things still go down so i think if you yeah this is the base plate you can pop this out you pull this back, decock it, and then when you pull these down, this allows you to take the slide off. I'm not going to do it in this, but this is very realistic to the real gun. If I lock this back, pull these up again, it should allow me to close it. It might not. Sometimes it plays up. It doesn't want to close. You have to take it apart after that. I hope not. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like we've got an issue here which I'll have to disassemble it to do. Um, so you can, I just do it for the video now. So you do that, slide your frame off, your spring flies out, make sure you don't lose it. And now you've got your, your system here. Yeah, the, the, the block, this air block and everything is a lot better quality. Um, it was a very much of a pain before to put it all together, which is why I didn't want to do it. Uh, and there's the internals. Really good quality gun, much better quality than before. This was on sale for £12. Uh, I think that's very good, uh, well worth the money um, for, for, for a realistic looking Glock like this. You kind of have to pull the, the handles down at the same time to get this to go in. As you can see, it's now done that. Once you get it back, looks like I've done it, messed it up again. I think it's because I put the spring in wrong. Yeah. So lay your spring into here, then do that. Pull your tabs up, cock it back. It's because the springs are so tough, it's, it takes a bit of a while to get used to. Um, and there you go. And now it's back to normal. Very nice quality gun, bit bit tough to get used to. This isn't something I'd say um, like as a starting gun, it'd more be like something if you wanted a replica of a Glock. Um, kind of the Glock 17L reminds me of, not the Glock 17L, but the Glock 17 um, improved model, the I model. Um, as it's it's got like the Glock 17 look, but it also has a selector switch, which you can actually uh, pry off if you don't want that on there. Um, but it has the cuts from for the Glock 18 too. Um, it has a silver barrel, and the barrel looks a lot nicer quality. It looks almost like a WE barrel. Uh, I'm very impressed. And the magazine is a little bit bulkier than um, how it used to be. It was a little bit thinner, much heavier than it was. It's a very heavy magazine. That feels like an actual um, loaded magazine. With the magazine before, I've not loaded this one yet, but um, you could get you could get it to double stack. The magazine would split open a bit as you loaded it. Um, the spring is harder to, to grab because of the way it's sort of designed. Uh, it has like a very big well inside there, so you can just load them in like that. There's no pour button to pour them in. Um, but it has a cutout, so it looks like it will lock the slide back. So we'll just try it now. You can see BB. There is no um, Glock trigger, it's just a standard trigger with a flat trigger. It's a lot more accurate. That's actually really nice, and every one of these guns so far has worked differently. Um, they've all felt different to shoot. This one is a bit more poppier than the other ones. Um, probably not as much power as, uh, probably the same power as the Colt Woods, the Colt Woods, they've all got kind of the same power. Um, but yeah, as you can see when it's out of ammo, when you cock it back to try and shoot it again, it locks back to let you know it's out of ammo. So you don't dry fire the gun, that's a big improvement of this. Um, even though it doesn't blow back on its own, you then can remove the magazine, hold the slide, 
pull the trigger and lower it forward and that way you won't fire it with no BB in the chamber which as you know breaks these guns after a while. These kind of, I keep doing that because obviously Glocks don't usually stick out that far but this one does, it's just the way this works. Um, but yeah, no, no, uh, no trademarks whatsoever really, but really nice gun, there's not much weight to this. They did actually have a, a weight put inside of here to give it a bit of weight, they got rid of that and I'm glad they did. Cause it was just it, it flopped around it was like the uh, the magazine that i showed you before this there's a safety here um, which just blocks the trigger off works really well because you can operate with your trigger finger so you can actually use this for airsoft you can cock it put it on safe put it in your holster and then when you take it out you can take it off safe and fire again it's got that rail so you can just take this off this should go straight on here as you can see makes it feel a bit more front heavier um, feels quite nice they always feel nice anyway, but yeah. So overall, I definitely would recommend getting all these guns that I've shown. I think they're all really good. I was expecting one of them to be bad. I mean, this one's a little bit rough to use just because of the system, but I like the way it operates and I like that it has a rail on here so I can put my attachment at one side, you know, fight. It's because this spring is really tough on this. Once I fight it and put it on, it will be okay, but yeah. It was on there a second ago. But you get the picture. I think they're all worth it in their, in their own way. I think if you've probably got a cheaper um, light and laser, like a cheap plastic one, it would probably fit on there better. Um, just this one doesn't like it, I'm guessing. Just the way it works. It's probably because the rail's a bit more smaller than... Yeah, it's a bit smaller. It's the same, it's the same shape, but just the, the wrong size in a way. But it kind of goes on there. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, comment, rate and subscribe. I definitely would recommend all of these. They, yeah, they're funny colours. Um, just because of the country I'm in. The spring powered ones always come all fully blue as well. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.